16 News Now is digging deeper after hearing from more feral gas customers, both in Michigan and Indiana, who say propane delivery delays are leaving them unable to keep their homes warm. 16 News Now reporter Jack Springate tells us why feral gas deliveries are falling behind. Well, the feral gas communications director tells me that the cold weather has not only skyrocketed the demand for propane, but it's also made it more difficult for feral gas to deliver propane to their customers. Laura Wolfram in Lakeville says feral gas is supposed to refill her propane tank automatically. By the time she realized they weren't going to fill it up on time, the tank was already empty. I called the emergency line Saturday and they said I was down for March 2nd. And I told them I couldn't go that long without gas and they said there was nothing they could do about it. Wolfram says she resorted to using electric space heaters while she waits and the temperature in her home still won't get warmer than high 50s. When I asked the feral gas communications director, Scott Brocklemeyer, why deliveries are so backed up, he said due to the unprecedented historically low temperatures over an extended period, we are seeing much higher propane usage and demand. In certain markets, the dangerous road conditions have prevented our drivers from making deliveries, extending current delivery windows. If you have placed your order, we do have it and are working as diligently as possible to safely deliver your propane order. A few hours after speaking with Brocklemeyer, feral gas crews headed to Wolfram's home to refill her tank. Unfortunately, they couldn't get close enough until she plowed her driveway, a consideration feral gas is asking of their customers if there's snow on the ground. Wolfram says this whole situation has her reconsidering her business with feral gas. The other place will come out and top you off once a month, so I'm definitely going to go with the other company. Several viewers in Michigan tell us they're also exploring other options, only to find out the competition is backed up due to the number of previous feral gas customers switching over. And as we continue to hear from our viewers who are also feeling the impacts of these propane delivery delays, we will continue to follow this story and keep you updated on air and online. For now, reporting in Plymouth, I'm Jack Springate, 16 News Now.